If you can imagine the coolest looking watercraft possible, chances are it would look something like this. This is the Quadrofoil, an all-electric dream machine that's caught the world's attention. A prime example of how the field of motorized watercraft is undergoing a reinvention in recent years. The Quadrofoil incorporates the latest technology in composite materials, advanced electric motors, and computer-aided design. The Quadrofoil uses its four C-shaped hydrofoils to literally fly above the water like a catamaran on steroids. Although the Quadrofoil's hull design radically envisions the future, it isn't all just for show. The hull's advanced aerodynamic engineering drastically cuts down on drag and saves precious energy. The electrically powered outboard engine and unique steering system make the Quadrofoil almost totally emission-free and ultra-quiet, safe for the environment and easy on the ears. The cockpit features a steering wheel with an integrated touchscreen displaying range, speed, battery power, and more. While its cruising speed of 20 knots isn't insanely fast, the Quadrofoil's next-level appearance and unforgettable ride could easily translate into commercial success. Boat show crowds have recently been treated to the sight of another craft using hydrofoil technology, the Hydro HYX. Created by Swiss hydrofoil manufacturer Hydros, with French firm JM Concept assisting in the design, the HYX was introduced as a half-scale prototype. Envisioned as the first flying hybrid and energy-efficient yacht, the HYX utilizes a dual hydrofoil system. The two retractable side foils lift the hull about one meter above the water's surface for reduced drag and higher efficiency, resulting in a 30% savings in fuel consumption. The HYX will be propelled by 35 horsepower twin turbo engines, capable of just just above 34 miles per hour. When we think of luxury yachts, most of us have images of something like these. But check out this futuristic creation. This is the SS18 Sport Yacht from Glider Yachts, a completely different look for seafaring luxury craft. The SS18's unusual profile help it glide through the water with ease. Its proprietary stability control system actually tunes the yacht to the current sea conditions. Custom built with techniques borrowed from private jets and Formula One cars, this pleasure cruiser epitomizes Glider's commitment to producing modernist progressive ship designs. Through its distinctive next-generation profile, the SS-18 provides a level of stable maneuverability and agility not generally seen in a sports day boat. Crafted for luxury and comfort, the spacious open cockpit at the top of the craft provides an unmatched view. At first glance, one might assume this beautiful ship is meant for slow cruising. While that's always an option, SS-18's four 270-horsepower Yamaha water jet engines make it one of the fastest yachts in the world, cruising at an impressive 56 knots. Made for an exclusive few, the Glider SS-18 offers an experience like no other. If you saw an iguana yacht on the water, you'd be impressed at its grace and power as it sliced through the waves. But these sea vessels hold a secret. Just beneath these finely crafted yachts are dual caterpillar-like tracks that conquer the terrain as well as its sleek hull conquers the water. The need for towing vehicles melts away, as does the need for harbor berth space. Because it can take to the water or come ashore virtually anywhere, there's no need to deal with crowded marinas. The Iguana 29, with its 40 horsepower onshore engine and optimum ground pressure, can handle almost any conditions, including navigating rocky terrain. Once in the water, the 29 performs as well as many of its waterbound contemporaries. Its ability to turn 360 degrees on a dime and handle fairly choppy sea conditions at speeds of up to over 40 miles per hour give the Iguana 29 some serious speedboat cred. In addition to the 29, Iguana's other models like the 24 and the luxury LG 29 all feature similar track designs. Now offering even newer, upgraded lines, Iguana's amphibious yachts are changing the very definition of yachting forever. Experienced rowers Andras Bakos and New Zealander Eric Haraldjen are planning to row across the Atlantic Ocean to raise public awareness for environmental issues. To do that, they'll need a boat with extreme capabilities. And now they have it. 
This is Samson, an innovative one-of-a-kind wave-piercing rowing boat optimized for ocean crossings. Resembling something more suited to traversing the cosmos than crossing an ocean, Samson is designed with racing technology and constructed from racing materials. With its unconventional rowing seat, forward-positioned canard, and precisely refined geometry, the team feels that Samson's speed and stability are unparalleled as compared to any other traditional rowing boat. If tipped over, Samson has an uncanny ability to ride itself. Electronics will be run by fuel cells using water to make electricity. When all is ready, the team plans to leave New York City on a journey of approximately 3,800 miles, arriving in Paris, France 60 to 80 days later. Will they make it? In the Samson, they've got an excellent chance. Check out the link below to follow this amazing challenge. Boats with glass view capabilities have been the specialty of Russian boat builder Paratet for years. With their extreme craft in operation the world over, their latest otherworldly vessel, the Ellipse 28, incorporates their vast experience into practice. With its strong acrylic viewing port and futuristic design, the Ellipse 28 is an advanced sea cruiser that envisions the aesthetics of an extraterrestrial sea creature. The Ellipse seats seven, including the captain. Though viewing sea life is its main attraction, this boat is blazingly fast. With the right engine, the Ellipse can zip along at an astonishing 65 knots. Essentially a catamaran, its two sleek hull fins keep it wide and stable while rising high above the water's surface. Luxury and technology on the Ellipse are found in abundance. With a plush interior, air conditioning, autopilot, GPS, and a full bathroom, the Ellipse 28 is bound to attract plenty of enthusiastic customers. In choppy seas, boats and their passengers tend to take a pounding. The intense forces that strike ship's hulls can cause damage over time. Occasionally, immediate harm to the boat and its occupants can also take place. Australian company Nauticraft has developed a hydraulic suspension system for multi-hulled vessels that separates the hulls from the superstructure. This grants a ship's hull the ability to conform to surface conditions and absorb much of the shock. Nauticraft-equipped vessels ride more comfortably with increased stability. Ships can move more rapidly with less acceleration felt by those on board. With real-time electronic controlled auto-adjustable variable dampening, even more stability can be achieved. Safety is enhanced, and as a result, the number of accidents involving personal injury is reduced. Because ships are able to more evenly plane through the waves, precious energy is saved as the engines use less fuel. With Nauticraft assemblies, pitch, yaw, and roll can be actively controlled. If you've ever experienced seasickness, you know it's a miserable condition. Nauticraft's deck attitude control system works to help the deck maintain a horizontal attitude, resulting in a happier attitude from the passengers. This may be the world's smallest yacht. This is the Jet Capsule, the cutest little boat on the water. Originally conceived as a water taxi or personal watercraft, the Jet Capsule has gradually been upgraded to mini yacht status. Its pod-like look offers a variety of features and options, with various interior configurations. Pilots are treated to an array of advanced state-of-the-art controls, while passengers are treated to a climate-controlled private jet-style layout, with comfortable sofas or relaxing contour chairs. Some models include a topside sun deck, interior tables, or even a small kitchen, while others feature photochromic windows for viewing the scenery. With an average cruising speed of 25 to 38 knots, jet capsules have speedboat-like quickness. Varying climates are no problem, as the jet capsule can operate in most kinds of weather. As one of the most ambitious creators of watercraft, jet capsule's designs will continue to captivate the public. This extreme boat is the Earth Race Power Boat, originally created to set the world record for circumnavigating the globe. By June 27, 2008, it had rounded the planet in 60 days, 23 hours, and 49 minutes. The Earth Race was run on 100% biofuel to bring attention to the need for renewable fuels and environmentally sound living. After this great accomplishment, Earth Race went to work with the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society combating the Japanese whaling industry. The ship was painted black and renamed the Addy Gill after a generous Hollywood benefactor of the same name. As the only vessel in the fleet which could match speeds with some of the whaling ships, the Addy Gill was a precious asset to the cause. 
Its Batmobile-like appearance struck a menacing pose in the cold waters of the Antarctic. Refitted and strengthened with extra carbon and Kevlar for added strength, it was hoped the Addy Gill could survive encounters with large whaling vessels. Sadly, in January of 2010, the Addy Gill was rammed by the Japanese whaling ship Shonan Maru 2 and eventually sank 3,000 feet beneath the ocean. Fortunately, the entire crew was rescued. Rest in peace, Addy Gill. Most boats that go beneath the waves usually end up as shipwrecks. Not so with the Platypus, an ultra-modern two-person electric underwater exploration vehicle from French company Platypus Craft. As beautiful as it is, this is no run-of-the-mill catamaran. The Platypus offers an incomparable way to experience shallow water exploration. Designed to be used without special skills, navigation can be done from above or below the water. This design features two independently powered surface pontoons held in place by an aluminum support structure. An additional pod located in the center seats the driver and passengers. Submerging the platypus is as easy as putting on a mask and pushing a button. Strapped in with airplane-like seatbelts, the riders are lowered to about 2 meters below the surface in dive mode and raised for riding topside. Beneath the waves, breathing is enabled through an integrated electric air compressor in the floats. Whether you love snorkeling or cruising the open water, the Platypus has you covered. So which one of these awesome water machines surprised you the most? Tell us in the comments section below. As always, be sure to subscribe to see more insane videos we have coming soon. Thanks for watching.